I'm seeing, I think, several, if not a lot of Penn State students out here, and I, I love seeing all the things they do in the office to try and get students out here to, to ski, kind of like it did for me back in the day. It gives them a way to get away from campus and forget about things, make some turns, get some sun on their face. and. But yeah, I, I, I love the discount, and I, I don't have any way to measure it, but I think it works. I certainly hope it does. Kinesiology, and it's snowboarding and skiing for all levels, never ever, all the way through expert skiers and riders. Um, it's offered Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday evenings, and Saturday mornings. And I do know each year, my students tell me it's the first kinesiology class to get hooked up uh, during registration. Now, I'm fortunate enough to teach the kids that have been skiing a long time and they um, they all have great ski stories and it's just a really um, great environment for forging friendships and you know, having something like this in common the classes become close and I like watching them get to be friends with each other and then follow them as their relationships develop. I'm a patroller, uh, alpine patroller. Uh, I also help with some of the uh, OET, out, Outdoor Emergency Transportation Training for new uh, candidates. And I also help out with the Outdoor Emergency Care Training. Uh, it takes place throughout the year, the different courses, the different things we do. Uh, we do the OET on the hill training with Outdoor Emergency Transportation where we teach uh, people how to run our sleds. There's a gambit of injuries that occur, mostly uh, it's sprained knees and things like that. Uh, we can't have more serious ones. Uh, uh, it's really hard to go into detail what those exactly are, but very few and far between. You know, sometimes we have really good conditions, temperatures where they can blow snow throughout the year. Uh, sometimes we have extremely warm temperatures, so it can ebb and flow. But uh, yeah, probably into February is your peak time. But uh, once the snow hits the ground, any time in December and on, people start coming out. So. It's um, the uh, mountains used to open in Pennsylvania around Thanksgiving weekend or before. It was a big, it was a big uh, challenge to see who would open first. Competition between the mountains, but with global warming now, that's sort of been kicked further down the road to where mountains are opening later and later, no longer in November, opening in December, mid-December, sometimes Christmas week. And Pennsylvania being in a very uh, variable zone we have a lot of uh, freeze thaw cycles so if you can ski in pennsylvania on this snow you can ski anywhere in the world and i'm proof of that uh this year has been tough you know it was we had a few cold days right around christmas but then it got really warm so um you know i think it's been a hard time keeping everything uh in decent condition for skiing um, but they've done a good job with what they, you know, the weather they've had. They've still been able to keep it open, uh, so I've been happy about that. There's no better place than Tussie Mountain. They get done grooming, and they open up at noon, and you come out here and ski on fresh, uh, fresh groomers, so the fresh corduroy. So it's fabulous. Favorite run would probably be Shimokin, which is way over to the right. And this year they still don't have snow making there, but when they have natural snow, it's a beautiful. Uh, slope right up against the pine trees and it's quite nice. Grizzly's great, Tuscarora's great, Utah, it's, it's, it's all a ton of fun with Tussie. You know, back then, Tussie was closed down for a few years and it was private ownership. And then just as I was getting ready to graduate, they reopened it. So it was a, a real blessing because before that you had to drive by an hour to go skiing anywhere. So having Tussie, 10 minutes from Penn State was kind of nice. Tussie has all sorts of two-hour programs, and they've got special evening hours where you can come out and ski very reasonably. The place is not, you know, everyone says skiing is such an expensive sport, and at Tussie it really isn't. There's no place in the world that you can, 10 minutes from your dorm room, can you be on the slopes and skiing other than Tussie. So it's amazing. It's a ton of fun. They've got, you know, a great cafeteria, great bar, but it's just a ton of fun. You know, by the end of the day, skiing here, you've met all sorts of people and just, you know, it, it's just like a family resort type thing. It's really, really